Hello, my name's Simon Danchuk, I'm Rochdale's Member of Parliament and we're doing the third of our uh, video diaries. And here we are outside Rochdale Job Centre and the reason we're here is because we're campaigning uh, to stop the coalition government cutting police numbers across Greater Manchester. So I'm joined with a number of campaigners and we're protesting against the cuts that are being made to the police force in Greater Manchester. What you're going to hear now is from some of those campaigners and why they think uh, police cuts shouldn't be made and how it will affect crime. I'm Councillor Dan Ali at Rushton Council. As some of you may be aware that the Justice Minister will be announcing his decision about the future of Rational Magistrates Court in the next fortnight. Closing of a well-run cost-efficient courthouse alongside these police cuts would be a double blow to the provision of justice in our borough. Thankfully, a senior judge recently spoke out against the closure of our magistrate's court. I urge the Liberals and Tories in the government to heed his advice. And we need our magistrate's court and more police numbers on our streets to, to carry on the good work that last Labour government did in reducing crime. Thank you. I wonder why we're here at the Job Centre. The answer to that is very simple. This is why 1,300 Greater Manchester police officers are going to have to come every fortnight. This coalition would rather they were John the Road than out of the region. Hi, I'm Councillor Colin Lambert, I lead the Labour Group on Rochdale Borough Council. And we're here today because we firmly believe police officers should be on the beat on our streets and not queuing up at the door queue. We want to see the police policing our communities, not fighting for their jobs with others here at Rochdale Job Centre.